welcome to Yanis Outdoor Adventures, another episode of Grilling and Chilling with Dave. I'm going down to the river. All right, so first things first, I'm going to show you the sauce because it's all in the sauce. First things first, Jamaican jerk seasoning, mild, mild, okay? Only need a little bit of that. I use the bourbon craft barbecue sauce. I don't use too much of it. You'll see what I'm gonna do here in a minute. Kentucky bourbon. Here is the main base. Believe it or not, A1 steak sauce. And trusty old low sodium soy sauce. So what we got here, we got about that much jerk, and I didn't ha I didn't have the uh, the the tin to do this in, so I just cut a can open. I had a small six ounce Coke, and the beer and oh, actually beer is in uh, just a little bit of beer when you're. When you have to warm this up, I'm going to show you. So, give me a minute, and I'm going to show you what we do. We're going to put this in here like that. Boom. Now. Now we got steak sauce. We're going to take this down to about a half, half a bottle of the small bottle. Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, just pour it on in there. Well, maybe I went a little too far. Eh. Yeah, I did kind of go a little too far, but that's okay. All right, so and then we don't want to put too much of this on this. This is that bourbon barbecue sauce. You don't want to put too much in there because I make my sauce a little liquidier when I'm brushing it on. And then then afterwards, we'll have some sauce left over. Then you can always add some of this stuff to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit like that. That's not good enough. And then we're going to go like this. We don't need much of this either. I'll show you what's going to happen here. This is low sodium soy sauce. Okay. That's good enough right there. All right. And then what I'm going to do is fire this up. Get it cooking. They don't want to boil it. You just want to kind of, you want to kind of simmer it. Get it cooking. Stir it around. Get it stirred around. Then you drop a little bit of beer just a little bit of beer when it's hot and you're gonna see it you're gonna see it bubble up and that is what makes it believe it or not a lot of Cuban people put beer in in their yellow rice all that all that alcohol burns off all right so I'll be right back okay so we got the sauce on the fire we're not gonna boil it, we're just gonna get it nice and hot. It's gonna start simmering. Right now it's to the point where it's almost gonna simmer. Now, what I'm gonna do is drop, drop a little bit of beer in there and watch what happens. Now, it's gonna start bubbling. You don't want a whole lot, just a little bit. That also, what that does is it makes the sauce to a Brushable. You don't want a thick barbecue sauce because this is going to come go on there. As soon as you flip the chicken, which I'm going to tell you about the kind of chicken that I bought, which works really, really well. So, in a little bit, that's going to start bubbling. Breaks it down. I'm going to stir it around. Let's see. If we can stir this around right now. Oh yeah. Hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, I'll be back. All right, so this is the chicken that I use for jerk chicken. Believe it or not, boneless, skinless chicken thigh fillets. Now you're gonna ask me, what about the skin? Isn't that what's all part of it? But when I put this stuff on there, it actually creates another skin, like a, like a nice crispy on the outside. And these things are deboned and skinless and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this right before I put it on the grill 
All right. So we got the package open, and all I put on there is maybe a little black pepper and this stuff right here, and it's not too salty, especially when it's full. What happens is when these things get down to the bottom, it gets a little salty. Now, keep in mind that these thighs are deboned and skinless, so when I put them on the grill, they're going to actually open up. You see small pieces there, but they're actually going to open up like a butterfly. So we're going to get this fire hot, and we're going to put them on there, and then you're going to see. All right, just put them on the grill. We're going to wait a little bit, flip them over, and sprinkle some more stuff on the other side, and then you're going to see what I do with the sauce, because I am the sauce. Okay, so now I put the can, because I didn't have the little container, my little uh, uh, stainless steel container saucer, left it at the house cut the can open, put the sauce in, put that back on there so it simmers some more. And then when I flip these over, I'm gonna start a brushing. Now remember, this is not a thick barbecue sauce. It's watered down to brush it in. And that I found out just by experimenting. You guys can experiment on your own. And I'll tell you what, you'll probably come up with a better ingredient and a better sauce a better marinade than what you buy in the stores. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'll be back. Now I covered it up. This is how it becomes a skin that is created with the sauce. And then you don't have to worry about bones. You don't have to worry. When you go to a Jamaican restaurant, they whack it, chop it with a knife, boom, 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 and you get pieces of bone. You know, you know that's a thigh. And you don't want to ever, ever use a breast for, for a jerk chicken. I, I accidentally ran across this, and I just went with it. I love it. It's so delicious, and it just melts in your mouth. And the meat's actually kind of white. It's, it's, like I said, it's thighs, but boneless? Oh, awesome. Del my mouth is watering right now. I got to, uh, hold on, I'll be back. All right, just flip them over and put some more sauce on the other side. Remember, nice and liquidy, never thick, otherwise it'll burn. Because normally barbecue people put the sauce at the end. Okay, this is very, very, very delicious. Now we flipped them and I put the cover back on to get that crisp on the other side. They're almost done. We're going to see what happens. Now look at that. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. And it, I wish you can taste it right now. But instead, I'm going to take a bite out of it. Until next time, this is Dave with Yanis Outdoor Adventures. Grilling and chilling. Hope you enjoy it. And if you like it, please hit the like button. And we'll see ya.